Hello, my name is Jen McDaniel with Baptist Health College Little Rock. I'm the enrollment coordinator, which just is a fancy title for me helping students get into college and find their way through. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about our programs, and if you haven't already, definitely grab one of these books that I've either pre-sent, or you can also find it electronically on our website at www.bhclr, as in Baptist Health College Little Rock, edu. And if you go to Prospective Students on that website, it will say BHCLR Viewbook, and it'll be the same printout. Now today I'm going to tell you a little bit about our program. So when you first open up that Viewbook, you're going to see a list of all the different programs that we offer. Now of course we do offer nursing, that's one of the big things we're known for. We offer registered nursing and practical nursing, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about those options today too. Now beyond that, we also offer what we call our Allied Health Programs. Allied health programs are just other specialty areas inside the hospital that you can work in. Some people prefer to work in the laboratory or with imaging, perhaps with sleep technology or in the surgical environment. Maybe you want to work and help people every day but not necessarily in nursing, so therapy is a great option for you. So today we'll talk about those options too. Now one more page in that view book is going to turn you right into a little bit about our culture. Over here, we're a private healthcare religious organization. Kind of a mouthful, but really that just boils down to you feeling comfortable in your surroundings. You don't have to practice a certain type of religion or anything like that to come here. We do have chapel services, but they're not mandatory to attend. They are a great time to get together, and if you have a beautiful singing voice, then you can lead the service. Other than that, it's just a great chance to get together and your Christian compassion that your teachers have for you really helps you along the way to make sure that you're taken care of and that you truly are appreciated for coming here as a student. Now, let's go ahead and dive into our programs. One more page in your book is going to tell you about nursing. Now, as far as nursing goes, we have a few different options. It kind of depends on how much college experience you've already had or how you want to get started. Now, the first option that you have is coming to us for some general education preparation. We work with Pulaski Tech College, and they do our classes over here for general education preparation, and then you progress into the nursing program. It's really great if you've had some nursing classes, but you haven't had everything you need to really dive in. If you have four out of nine of the classes listed on our prerequisites, in the bottom right in that blue box, then you can come in and finish up basically the rest of those classes and some may or may not be offered each semester at Baptist Health. So go ahead and check with us if you're looking to take some of them with us. But if you've had four out of nine of those, which by the way are the Comp 1, College Algebra, Anatomy and Physiology 1, Anatomy and Physiology 2, Chemistry, Microbiology, Psychology, and or Sociology, and then Comp 2 in a Computer Concepts class, then you can come in, finish up the rest that you need, and then flow into the nursing program as well. Now go ahead and flip the page one more. You're going to see two different programs of your choice. On the left hand side is practical nursing. Now practical nurses, they work under the direct supervision of an RN, a little bit more direct patient care, personal hygiene, medicine distribution, and they're the ones who is just a one year program for us and it's only four days a week. So if you're in high school now, if you have no college prerequisites already, or if you just kind of want to get a quicker way to get started, practical nursing is a great option to do so. One year program, no college prerequisites needed, and it's only four days a week, so you can work or kind of have a little bit more time if you need that time and your flexibility for your scheduling. Now, after that one year program, down there towards the bottom, you're going to see where it talks about your NCLEX, or your National Council Licensure Exam. That's how you get that RN license. So after that one year, four days a week, you sit for that NCLEX and you become a licensed practical nurse, or more commonly heard as an LPN. Now a lot of people go on to do our LPN to RN accelerated track, and if you flip the page one more past that, you're going to see the accelerated track. The accelerated track is designed, again, for an LPN to become an RN. It's still only a one-year program, and it's still only four days a week. So you have that same flexibility to work as an LPN while you go back to school as an RN. Now, they do have some college prerequisites listed in their light blue box towards the right there, but at the very bottom when you finish this one-year program, you're going to again sit for your NCLEX or your National Council Licensure Exam, this time for your RN license. Once you finish that, you're an RN, you're good to go, you're done with us. But at the very, very bottom, you see where it also talks about your Baptist Health completion agreement to get your Bachelor's of Science in Nursing with either U of A, Euler, or ATU. 
your choice of course, whoever you want to hang on your wall one day, but it's just one year online. So you're already working as a registered nurse, you're working, you're making money, you're doing what you love, but in one year online you also have your bachelor's degree. Same degree it would have taken you years to get elsewhere, you've got it in a lot shorter of amount of time with experience along the way. So definitely a win-win. Now you do have another option with registered nursing. Go ahead and flip back a page, back to where it talked about that traditional track. Now, the traditional track is designed for students who have had their college experience already. They're coming to us for the traditional track for registered nursing only. So you can see they have the same blue box with the courses listed we've seen a few times now. But that one's going to be at least seven out of nine of the classes needed. If you have at least seven out of nine taken as the Comp 1 in college algebra, and then three out of four of the sciences with the lab, and two out of three of the remaining general education courses, it's just a three semester or a year and a half long program. After that three semesters, you're done with registered nursing, you're done with us, and you sit for that NCLEX yet again. Again, that NCLEX is your National Council Lassinger exam to get that RN license. So when you're done with that, you're done with us, and you still have that one year online bachelor degree completion available to you as well through ATU, Euler, or U of A, your choice. Now that's nursing. I know that there may be some questions, and even though this is a recording, you can feel free to email me or call me any questions that you may have. You can reach me on my phone number at 501-202-7951, or you can email in any questions in at study at bhclr.edu. Now let's go ahead and flip the page where you see allied health programs. Now again, our allied health programs are just other specialty areas that you can do inside the hospital. Some are one-year programs, no college prerequisites. Some are postgraduate options, so a little bit more college experience. So let's go ahead and turn the page to where you see that yellow. The yellow is our laboratory programs. Now we offer two different laboratory programs. On the left-hand side is histotechnology, and then on the right-hand side we'll talk a little bit more about medical laboratory science. Now on the left is histotechnology. They deal with tissues, cells, things that typically go on slides. If you've ever gone into your doctor and you thought you had the flu, one of the first things they do is swab your cheek. When they swab that cheek, they don't just take a look at it and think, yep, that's the flu. They of course send it to the lab for results. So these are the people who receive that data. Now they also can do, if you go in for surgery and they have a piece of you taken out, they're gonna take a smaller piece of that piece of you and send it to the lab for results. Now this one's actually just a one-year program and it's only four days a week. So you have that same flexibility to maybe work a part-time job, drive back and forth, however you need that time. After that one-year program, you can either work in a hospital lab, you can work for a criminal lab, you can work for anybody with tissues and cells. You can also work with plant cells or animal tissues or cells, maybe at a vet or a zoo. So you can kind of choose your own adventure with that. Now, on the other side is medical laboratory science. Now this one's more of a bachelor level program, so a little bit more college experience needed. With this one being a bachelor level program, down there at the bottom in the yellow box, those are our affiliate schools. What the affiliate school means is that you spend some time with them and some time with us and you finish out a bachelor's degree in medical laboratory science. Now these are the people who do the liquids on the lab, so blood work, urine analysis, bodily fluids. So a lot of people think like, ah, I don't know if I want to work with all those things. But if you really think about it, everything is very neat, signed, sealed, delivered. So it's a very clean, OCD friendly environment. So a great place to work if you want to enjoy biology or chemistry or work in development or research or you want to go on to do forensics or even just use it as a jumping off point to being a pathologist or some upper level laboratory area. Now with this one, there is another way you can come in. If you already have a degree in biology, chemistry, or another field of science and you have the prerequisites listed on the page, it's just a one year postgrad program. So one year and you have the certification you need to work in a hospital lab, criminal lab, forensics lab, go on to do any kind of medical laboratory scientist position. Now that's the lab. Again, if you have any questions about that, feel free to let me know along the way. Now one more page past that is imaging. Imaging is looking inside the human body, so anything from MRI or CAT scans, PET scans, x-rays. The left hand side is nuclear medicine technology, and they do MRIs, CAT scans, PET scans. They look inside the human body, but they also use radioactive pharmaceuticals, literally make people glow. 
anywhere from cancer detection. For example, if you think or you know you have cancer in your body, they may put into your bloodstream a radioactive pharmaceutical or even have you ingest it and actually see it moving through your body. They can detect small levels of breaks or fractures, but they can also detect if there's cancer present in your body. Gastroenterology is something they work hard in or cardiology working with your heart. So any area that you would like to work in with upper level imaging, this is a great place to get started. Now, nuclear medicine technology is also a bachelor level program. So you can either do the first three years at the school of your choice under degree completion on their page, or you can do that one year post-grad after having a biology, chemistry, some field of science with the prerequisites listed on the page. Now the other side is radiography, and that's typical x-ray exam. So if you have a broken bone or internal bleeding, these are the typically people who will meet you in the ER, so a lot of trauma involved with this as well. Now with radiography, they are also a bachelor level program. So under degree completion, there's two different ways of coming in. You can either spend the first two years at the school of your choice listed under degree completion, last two years with us and earn a bachelor's degree, or you can have a two-year associate's degree, and as long as you have the prerequisites listed at the bottom of that page, you can come to us for two years of certification as well. So either way, about four years of education. Now that's again imaging, so any questions, please feel free to direct them to me. Now the next couple pages are going to go into some other programs that we offer. On that first page, after you turn, it's going to show you Occupational Therapy Assistant, or OTA for short. A lot of people think of physical therapy when they think of therapy. You break your leg, you learn to walk again, you're pretty much done. And that's kind of more focused on the physical or movement side of things. But occupational therapy, it's more about the lifestyle. If you do break your leg, welcome to your new cast. How do you take a shower? How do you drive your car? How do you get around your house? So these are the people who teach you how to live again. They can work with developmentally disabled, autistic children, aging adults, mental handicaps, prosthetics, stroke victims, injuries, the list goes on. So obviously a lot of care and compassion are involved with this one. But it's just a two-year program and then you earn your Associate of Applied Science degree in OTA. Now down there at the bottom, they do require Comp 1, College Algebra, and Psychology. But if you have those three classes, you can apply to a two-year program and then you're out in the field of your choice. Now you can also work for hospitals, you can work for a clinic, you can work for a therapeutic area, you can even work for a school if you prefer. So a lot of job opportunities with this one as well. Now the other side is called sleep technology. Sleep technology deals with sleep abnormalities like walking and talking in your sleep. All the way up into sleep apnea are those people who kind of wake themselves up snoring. Everybody's probably had that dad or uncle or someone that you hear kind of start to snore. <laughs> and clear their passageways. And this is kind of fascinating because they're actually struggling to breathe. So the sleep technologist takes them through a sleep study and actually performs the testing that they need to figure out how to solve that. They also studied the psychological side because if you're walking and talking in your sleep, you need to fix that as well. So these are the people who perform those sleep studies and walk them through the procedures that they may need in order to sleep better. It's actually just a one-year program. There's no previous college prerequisites. So one year and then you're in the field. Now, on the very last section, it's going to talk about surgical technology. Surgical technology is the blood, guts, and gore of healthcare. Now, this one is going to be working side by side with the surgeon, so holding the heart, carrying away the leg, and anything in between. They can work for labor and delivery, heart surgery, orthopedic surgery, so any kind of surgical environment, and then you can work directly with the surgeon and surgical team. Now, with this one, it's actually just a one-year program and there's no college prerequisites required. Of all the allied health programs, this is the only one that has a twice a year start date. So where you'll notice some of the application deadlines start in March or April and has a first year start, then this one actually starts in July and January. So definitely check out the application deadlines along any program that you're interested in. Now that's our allied health programs as well. So again, if you have any questions for those, please feel free to let me know. The next page goes into student services, and that's just going to be any contact information that you may need along the way. You can see if you turn into those next couple pages of student services, towards the right it has all the phone numbers listed. Those are your admissions representatives. So along the way, if you turn in your transcripts, your ACT scores, any documentation that we may need from you, this is the person who receives it. So if you think, am I good? Do I have everything in? Who can I contact to make sure I'm on the right way? Call that number specifically of the program of your interest and they'll make sure you have everything in. 
Now, one more page past that has all the rest of our offices on campus, admissions, business office, IT office. So if you do have any questions for a specific office, feel free to let them know. The very next page is going to go into our financial aid office. Now, of course, financial aid has a lot of questions from a lot of people, so don't hesitate to ask our financial aid advisors. They're actually pictured at the bottom of their financial aid page. They can help you out with state or federal aid, which we do accept, and then also our Baptist Health Foundation scholarships, anywhere from helping you pay for books, maybe even helping you pay for school entirely. Now, you also may check out the ACT Academic at the very bottom of the page. If you qualify for an ACT Academic scholarship, you'll get one when you very first start with us. Now, the last thing I want to show you is on that next page. It's going to talk about the ACT a little bit on the left, which we do accept. We have a residual testing site, which just means that if you take it with us, your score only applies to Baptist Health College Little Rock. So you're welcome to take it with us at the dates that we offer it, and your score will only stay with us. It's a $40 testing fee, and you can register fully online. The other side has the BHCLR outcomes, and that's basically what does life look like after graduation. You can see all the programs that we offer listed going down. Then the first column you see is the retention rate. That's day one of year one to completion of the program, how many students complete. Second part's the board pass rate. Now that's at the end of the program, how many students pass their boards. For example, for nursing, that was the NCLEX, or National Council Last Year Exam, that we discussed earlier. The last column is the job placement rate. That's within six months after graduation, how many students are placed in a position, working, and making money. Now we're pretty proud of those, but definitely something you want to know about. Nobody wants to go to school and then not be able to find a job. Now that kind of concludes the view book. If you do have any general questions, you can always contact me. Again, my name is Jen McDonald, and I'm the Enrollment Coordinator for Baptist Health College Little Rock. You can always email me at study at bhclr.edu or give me a phone call at 501-202-7951. If you'd like to come in for a tour, you can come by yourself, you can come with friends, you can bring your parents in or a loved one. So whoever you'd like to take this journey with you. You can sit down, talk through all of your options, and then take a tour of our facilities. If you have any other questions for me, you know where to find me. But thank you so much for listening today, and have a great day.